Hi everyone and welcome back to lesson number seven. My name is Michael Geddes. If you would please take the time to like this video and or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate that. This week I'm gonna show you two new exercises. One is a very simple but fun exercise, a courting, a courting exercise called the, sun, the Sunshine Song. And it's gonna help you uh, in a very easy and simple way begin adding the left and the right hand together like we were doing in our last lesson with the E minor chord exercise moving up and down the neck. So don't forget, each hand is doing something totally different, and they're both pretty complicated things that they're doing. So adding to them together slowly and with simple exercises so that they get more comfortable working together slowly is a great idea. The next exercise is called the spider walk exercise. I want you doing this exercise without the right hand this week. Do not try picking the strings while you're doing this exercise with the left hand. You're going to be learning how to place your fingers, uh, each finger, exactly where you need to in relationship to the fret. Uh, it's going to help make your fingers stronger, your wrist stronger, and it's going to make your notes sound bell tone, really nice and clean and clear when you begin adding the right hand. So the other thing I want to make you aware of is that with every lesson, I'm going to try to add something entertaining so that you feel like you're having fun and you're, you're moving along as a musician a bit. And the other thing I'm going to add, I'll always add some exercises that will help strengthen the left and the right hand so that you can become a stronger player quicker. Also, take these lessons in progression from one, two, three, four, five, and so on, because each lesson will help you navigate the next lesson a little bit easier. So let's move on and I'll show you uh, the Sunshine Song and the Spider Walk exercise. So let's start with the Sunshine Song. So with the Sunshine Song, you're gonna be forming th four easy chords with your left hand, and you're gonna be strumming the top four strings of the guitar, one, two, three, and four, beginning with the little string, one, two, three, and four, in a downward strum. I'm just strumming the top four strings. Those are the strings you're gonna be strumming when you're doing this exercise with the left hand. So with the left hand, you're gonna be forming four easy chords once again. The first chord is gonna be a third finger. You're gonna place your third finger to the left of the third fret right there. Keep your fingers hooked. Donut hole space here and keep your fingers spread and you're gonna strum four times. Strumming down single strums towards the floor. The second chord, you're gonna you're gonna move the second finger to the second fret, just to the left of the second fret. Um, and strum that four times. The third chord, you're gonna use the first finger on the first fret, first string, to the left of the fret, like this. And the last chord, you're gonna move the first finger to the second string, first fret, but you're only gonna be strumming the top three on the right hand. And then you're gonna do it over and over again. Third fret, first string. Second fret, first string. First fret, first finger, first string. Then the last chord, you're gonna to move to the second string. And you're gonna be doing single strums and do that over and over again so that you eliminate, eventually eliminate the pause between the chords you're playing. So the next exercise is the spider walk exercise. And that's a left hand exercise only. Do not play with the right hand. We'll start doing that in the next lesson. But with the spider walk exercise, it's kind of a continuation of the fret finder exercise. I believe that we talked about in lesson number four, where you were moving up the neck, two strings per finger, first two strings with the first finger and so on. Uh, go back and review that if you think it would help you at this point. So with the spider walk, it's just a continuation of that. You're gonna do one first finger, first fret, take it off, pinch good by the way, second finger, second fret, pinch it, take it off, and then you're gonna do the third finger, third fret, take it off, and you're gonna do the fourth fret, fourth finger, take it off. Then you're gonna to move to the second fret, one, two, to the, stay on the first string. We're just working on the first string right now. Then you're gonna do the same thing in the second position or beginning on the second fret with your first finger. One, two, fingers coming off as you go and pinch them good as you go because that's gonna help you strengthen those guys. One, 
two to the left of the fret. Keep the donut hole, keep your fingers hooked. Try to keep your fingers spread if you can. Fourth fret, same thing. One, two, three, four. Then you could, you're gonna do all these strings up to the 12th position, pinky up to the double dot 12th position. And you can do every string like that. So the second string, one, two, pinch it good, release. Next finger to the left of the fret, fourth finger, fourth fret. Then you're gonna to move to the second uh, fret, first finger, two, three, four. And then the third position or the third fret, you're gonna do the same thing, one, two, three, and this will really begin to get that left hand working correctly, strengthen your fingers, and having them do what they need to be doing. Next week, we'll add the right hand, and, and your, your notes will be nice and bell tone and clear because you've been just working on getting those fingers working correctly this week. So there's one last thing I want to add to that previous clip of the spider walk exercise, and that is to be sure you're using the fourth finger when you're walking up. Okay, don't do one, two, three, one, two, three, add four because that pinky will try to do anything to get out of work. And you need to be strengthening that finger as well as the other ones, especially since it is the weakest of, of, the, of the left hand as well. So this concludes lesson number seven. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Michael Geddes and I'll see you at lesson number eight. And I'm gonna show you how to start forming open chords, how to place your fingers correctly and how to read chord diagrams correctly. Thanks for being here today.